Hello everybody and welcome to the once in a blue moon uh, big channel update video. Got a lot of stuff to talk to you guys about today, including some uh, kind of big picture long term plan stuff for both research runs and Frustrated Jacob, both of uh, my channels on here. Uh, also our recently completely revamped and overhauled Patreon page and uh, some upcoming playthroughs you're gonna be seeing here on Research Runs. Uh, gonna talk about those big picture changes first though because everything else uh, kind of follows up from that. Over the next several months, I'm going to be making a, uh, a very focused effort at a big content push for both channels, but mainly for Frustrated Jacob. Uh, I did try something like this last year. You guys may recall uh, front half of 2021. Uh, put out a lot of videos in relatively rapid succession, at least by the standards of my upload rate uh, for the last several years. That was a similar attempt at trying to uh, spark a little bit of growth again for both of these channels, a bit of viewership growth, because these channels have been pretty stagnant for a number of years. Now, to be very clear, uh, I, we, all of us here, because my, my friends here also who do research runs with me, we are very appreciative and flattered by the, the fans that we have and that you guys stick around and, and watch our stuff. I never thought I would be doing this as long as I, as long as I have, at least I don't, I don't think so. I, I can't say exactly what I was thinking when I released part one of the Final Fantasy VII playthrough literally eight years ago today on the day that I'm filming this. Not a joke. Did not think that I would, uh, at least again, I, I, I guess I don't know what I was thinking back then. I don't think I was planning on filming Sonic Forces uh, back then, but hey, you know, I'd have to get a time machine and go and ask myself to be sure, I guess. Very appreciative of all the fans that we still have, and let's be very clear, if we don't spark some kind of growth with this big content push that I'm doing, that doesn't mean the channel is going to die. In fact, whether this succeeds and we get a good bit of growth, or whether it fails and things kind of remain stagnant and all of my effort uh, did not lead to actual uh, numerical success, that's probably not going to change too much about what the plan is for this channel later on. Because once I'm done with this big push, uh, I'm going to be reassessing how I'm investing my energy into this anyway. Uh, if it doesn't really work out, I'm still going to be doing Let's Plays, I'm still going to be doing streams for you guys every now and then, uh, I'll still put out main channel stuff every now and then, I'm just going to have to seriously reassess how much energy I am putting into this, because I've got a full-time job, I've got other things that I'm interested in doing. This, even when I'm not, even when I'm not blasting stuff out constantly, takes up a huge chunk of my time and mental bandwidth, so one way or the other, I'm doing this big thing right now, and it'll either be a reassessment of, okay, how do I make this a, a healthy background hobby along with other things, or it'll be, okay, now that I've had a little bit of growth, maybe it'll be a bit easier to find a comfortable way to kind of coast instead of going completely dead for one or two years in a row like I did in the past and I've lost a ton of our viewership. With this in mind, the time has come for me to do something that I don't normally do, that I think you guys have either heard me say or at minimum ascertained that I don't like doing. Uh, it is time for me to beg, to beg, please like, comment, and subscribe. While the success of all of this is going to come down largely to number one, the luck of the draw on what YouTube decides to actually do, and number two, me actually trying to make good content that hopefully people want to watch and keep coming back to, I do want to ask you guys, please, if you are fans of our content, if you enjoy our stuff, please, especially the main channel stuff, I know, I know let's, the Let's Play videos, they're long, there are a lot of them, you may not be super interested in the particular game we're playing, that's fine. Please, at least for the main channel stuff, for a little while here, for the next couple of months, please pop them open, watch them all the way through. You don't even have to watch them, but YouTube really, really cares about total watch time on videos, not just about clicks. They want to see engagement over the length of the video. Even if it's not something you're super interested in, put it on, please. Leave it on in the background. Don't pay attention to it. Hit like. Leave a comment that isn't just like a a, a copy-paste thing of like a, a comment for engagement. Just say, just say, make something up. Wow, I like Sonic, you say, the person who's never played Sonic before. I don't care. There's gonna be a dozen comments that say, wow, I like Sonic, I shouldn't have said that. You guys know what I mean. YouTube likes watch time. YouTube likes likes on videos. YouTube likes comments and engagement. I'm asking you guys, especially for the next couple of months as I'm really trying to, to get this going and I'm putting in Frankly, I'm gonna be putting in a lot of time on this considering I have a full-time job 
and that it takes me out of town somewhat often for work, um, I'm going to be trying my best to maintain getting stuff out in a timely basis. I'm going to be putting pretty much as much of my free time as I can bodily stand to into working on this stuff. I am asking for your help, at least for a little while here, to help support this sprint and see if you can't trick the YouTube algorithm into showing the videos to more people. As I said before, whether or not this content push succeeds or fails is not going to determine the fate of the channel, so there's not huge pressure on this. I don't want you guys to feel like, oh, I have some kind of responsibility to save the channel or whatever, because that's not the case. I'm not going anywhere. Just please help out with this. If you can, it would be greatly appreciated. But that's the, the big picture, long-term stuff. Uh, like I said, this isn't a, a fate of the channel going away or not thing. This is just about me kind of making uh, one last big push to turn this into something uh, a, a little bit more, um, I don't know, not necessarily, maybe sustainable is the right word, maybe not, I I'm not sure. Uh, it's not gonna go away. It's just gonna be a matter of reassessing exactly how things are gonna run in the future, depending on how all of this goes down. Not going away one way or the other. Not, I'm not holding the channel hostage for numbers here. Just asking for your guys' help as I uh, as I really try to see if I can't uh, if I can't spark something with this channel again and get things kind of get, get things moving again a little bit. Next thing I want to talk about is our Patreon page. Um, many of you probably know this. Uh, the Patreon page for these channels has been uh, pretty dire for a number of years here. Uh, previously, when I thought, okay, I'm gonna have time to be able to do this, I think I've, I think I've assessed everything properly. Um, I had not, I kind of rushed into it because there was a, it, it doesn't matter, short version is uh, Patreon was changing some policy stuff that I wanted to be grandfathered into, so I jumped in probably earlier than I should have. I had ambitious plans for the page that I was never gonna be able to sustain, and I apologize for the page sucking for the last several years, um, and wanna thank those of you who have actually stuck around and have still been giving us money on Patreon just out of love for the content. Uh, I greatly appreciate it, but gonna try my best to actually turn this page into something that uh, is a bit more realistic about what I can put up there and that will hopefully be worth your guys' attention. And the Patreon page has been important, like, in my head for a number of years because I've had ideas of, you know, stuff that I'd like to, extra stuff that I'd like to do, stuff I'd like to share that isn't maybe conventional content or isn't video content at all. Um, and it would be as a decent way of sharing stuff with you guys, but a lot of the, you know, like I said, it just hasn't quite been the right time. I haven't quite had the bandwidth. I think things are going to work out better now. The main thing that I need to say at this point is that everything on the Patreon, the entire thing, everything, all the exclusive, there is some stuff that's publicly available, and there will continue to be some publicly available, like, you know, written stuff that I can't exactly post on YouTube. Um, everything that I put on the Patreon is going to be available for one dollar. A single United States American dollar bill. There's not going to be any uh, pay tiers or whatever. There's not going to be stuff locked behind a certain dollar figure or another dollar figure. One dollar gets you access to everything. If you want to donate more to support the channel, you certainly can. Uh, the Patreon is the main way that I pay Aiden and Joey. Uh, they'd be happy to do it for free, but I like trying to give them something for all their trouble of coming over here and sitting through all of my antics for all this time. And YouTube ad revenue is just really inconsistent, uh, so that's one way that I'm able to, to give them something, a way you guys are hopefully, I can think of it as a way to show them thank you for showing up and sitting through all this psychological torture that I put them through. But anyway, everything that's going to go up on the Patreon from here on out that is exclusive or timed exclusive paid content is gonna be just $1 required to get at it. So you'll be able to access everything for a, a $1 monthly fee I mean, you don't even have to re-up. You could do it for one month and look at everything you were interested in and uh, bail out. In fact, I'm going to encourage that with one of the features I'm going to talk about in just a second, one of the new things that I'm going to try and do with the uh, with the Patreon in the, in the near future. First thing to talk about with the Patreon is early access. Uh, I've done this a bit in the past. It hasn't been super consistent. Hopefully that'll be a bit, a bit better in the future. I'm not going to offer early access to episodes of Let's Plays. At least I don't expect so. That's not something I'm planning on doing, but main channel videos from Frustrated Jacob, uh, you'll either get access to, in some cases, early cuts, like not quite finished cuts that I'm, I'm just working on in videos, or at minimum, you'll be able to see a finished video a day or two before it's ready to go out oftentimes. I'm not gonna do this for everything, because some videos are gonna be really simple things that I'll cut very fast and put out pretty fast, and I'm not gonna necessarily do early access for them, but for example, with the uh, recent Sonic Frontiers marketing campaign video, um, 
That was a pretty complicated edit. That took a little while to put together. I uploaded a version of that with a couple of the visuals not finalized and no music implemented and stuff. Made that available to uh, Patreon supporters and you'll see stuff like that in the future where if it's a really complicated video that's taken me a while to put together, I'll probably give you guys access to an early cut of it. Also gonna offer uh, deleted scenes and just kind of general bonus shenanigans and stuff. I've got a pretty long list of stuff that's been cut out of the Let's Plays for whatever reason, either be it for time or because it was like, oh, a joke that we made during a really dramatic moment and I didn't want to mess up the, the episode or whatever, whatever other reason. Also just some, uh, some, some goofy extra shenanigans and things like that. Uh, these types of things, gonna try and put up on the Patreon. Uh, some of these may be like timed exclusive where eventually they'll be available to everybody. There's technically already a playlist of deleted scenes and bonuses on this channel. Currently there's only one video in it that's unlisted. Uh, as time goes on and I make a lot more of these and put some more of them on the Patreon, probably it'll be like after a couple of months, I'll put them in that unlisted playlist so anybody who wants to go and check them out can find them. But some of them will remain exclusive. Uh, I, this, this, listen, I'm playing this loosey-goosey. I'm not really sure exactly what's gonna happen. This, this, this area, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm still kind of figuring out exactly what's gonna go on with some of this. Some of it's gonna get public eventually, some of it's gonna be exclusive, but regardless, extra content. Additional stuff that's been cut out of episodes or just bonuses, whatever else. You'll, you'll see some of that stuff coming along through the Patreon as well. Also, this is one that's probably going to excite some of you guys the most. Um, uh, writings and notes and other stuff, mainly notes. Uh, I've talked many, many times in the past about how I've been writing notes for big Kingdom Hearts reviews that I may or may not make someday. Who knows? I've decided, especially since I, these reviews may not ever even get made, and if they do, they'll be years in the future, why not share some of this stuff with you? Especially considering that some of them are probably not even close to the final form they'd appear in if the videos ever actually get made. So. I'm gonna try, because this is gonna be something that will be relatively easy to do, even if I can't maintain other more complicated content, like releasing deleted scenes or whatever else that's taking more of my editing bandwidth away from me. I'm gonna try and put out KH notes at least once a month, unless I've got some other big Patreon bonus coming out that's taking up more of my time. I've got a lot of these kind of accumulated. I've been uh, trying to curate some of the more interesting ones, some of the ones that are at least semi-ready for prime time that some of you guys might actually find uh, uh, comprehensible that are worth reading, and I'm gonna put some of these written notes out for all of our Patreon supporters. Again, one dollar. So not, not, not a pretty, pretty cheap wall if you wanna, if you guys wanna, if you just desperately need to hear me talking about Kingdom Hearts more, which I know some of you do, uh, gonna try and put some of that stuff out and make it available on Patreon. So you'll be able to read me writing some nonsense about Kingdom Hearts uh, on probably mostly a monthly basis. Uh, as this video goes out, I'm actually putting out first, uh, first segment of notes. It's gonna be, I believe, from the Kingdom Hearts 1 kind of collection of notes, unless I've changed my mind and decided to post something else first. Uh, and also, uh, one little behind the scenes bonus for you guys. Both of those should be going up around this same the same time this video releases. And also, uh, last feature I wanna talk about that's gonna be available for Patreon supporters are polls of what games I'm going to solo stream. Uh, obviously, I haven't been streaming very often. Uh, the Gravity Rush playthrough has been sitting abandoned for like a year at this point. Gonna try and do stuff on my own a little bit more consistently in addition to obviously the continuing uh, Breath of the Wild streams with Joey. Instead of just Picking a game, though, I'm gonna let Patreon supporters pick between a few choices. Uh, whenever I finish up one of these solo games, I'm gonna put out a new poll with four new games that you guys be able to, will be able to vote on as the game that I'm gonna do a solo live-streamed playthrough of. Uh, I'm not gonna let you guys select the games from scratch. I don't quite trust you. You'd all have me playing Sonic Forces or Sonic 06 nonstop, but I'm gonna be giving you guys uh, curated selections of stuff that hopefully, that, that I'll probably will be stuff that I enjoy streaming. So I won't be like, okay, I'll do this game and you guys paid for it and uh oh, I'm miserable. I'm trying to stack them with games that I think are gonna be interesting. And hopefully that there at least be something among the choices that, um, uh, that you guys will be interested in. And that first poll should be going live uh, today or sometime very soon. Anybody who's a Patreon supporter will be able to vote in it. Uh, the solo streams will not necessarily start immediately. Uh, they'll probably start like 
mid-January, late January or something, but I'll, I'll leave it open for a while so people have time to vote. The games in question that are going to be in this first poll, you're going to be able to choose between Hitman 2, specifically the, uh, the like, you know, recent trilogy of Hitmen's, sequel to Hitman 2016, Hitman, Hitmen, whatever, sequel to Hitman 2016 that we played back in the day. Hitman 2, Uncharted 2 Among Thieves on Crushing Difficulty, same way that I streamed through the first Uncharted on Crushing Difficulty a while back. Dragon Quest Builders 2, which is kind of a, a, a 3D Minecraft with the story mode, and Castlevania Aria of Sorrow, which is the third Game Boy Advance Castlevania game, the games that I covered recently on the main channel. I'm gonna play it regardless at some point and do a video about it, whether or not I do it on stream or do it on my own time, it's gonna be down to the results of this poll. So again, that's Hitman 2, Uncharted 2 on Crushing Difficulty, Dragon Quest Builders 2, and Castlevania Aria of Sorrow. That poll's gonna be open for a little while. Any Patreon supporters will be able to go and vote and decide what game I'm gonna be doing a full playthrough of on stream next. And the nice trick about this is, you guys can go and drop the $1 and vote in that poll, and then not renew your Patreon support for the next month. And I fully encourage that. If you guys wanna participate in these polls, but you're not like, you're like, ah, I don't need to, I don't have the money or the interest to be doing this every month, that's totally fine. Because here's the thing, you guys know me, it takes me a very long time to get through stuff here on this channel. Uh, I, I will be doing this faster, especially since you guys are going to be paying for it and voting on it. I will make a concerted effort to do this faster than the Gravity Rush streams that got abandoned. To be fair, that wasn't entirely my fault. That was a, a internet technical limitation thing. But regardless, gonna do my absolute best to actually get these out in a timely manner. But even then, if it's a longer game that takes me a while to get through, it could be a number of months before there's another one of these polls. So what I'll do is every time that it's like, okay, it's time for a new poll, I will put something in the community tab on this channel, which hopefully if you guys are subscribed, I don't know, maybe you have to hit the bell. I don't understand how any of that crap works. Uh, I will put something in the community poll, or the community tab on here regardless. It'll say, hey, new poll. Here are the games that you guys are gonna be voting on this time. Feel free to, if you're interested in participating in this one, if there's a game that you really wanna win, you can go and drop $1 on the Patreon. You can, you can vote on what you want. You can read anything that's been up, put up on the Patreon or watch anything that's been put up on the Patreon in the last couple of months. Then you can drop it again until time, it's time for the next poll. I fully encourage this behavior. I am a frugal guy myself. I understand that our content has been inconsistent in the past. I totally understand the hesitance and the desire to be careful and sneaky about that. Uh, go right ahead and do that. Fully encourage that behavior if you guys want to participate in the polls don't want to support consistently, just jump in occasionally, vote in the poll, look at the stuff that I've uploaded the last couple of months, bail again, that's totally fine. Anyway, so that's the uh, the general update on Patreon stuff. I, d I will probably do some kind of specific Patreon overview video at some point, but I'm busy. I got more important things to do. This is fine for now. Let's talk about some proper research runs playthrough updates. Now this is gonna be a recap for some of you guys, but any of you will recall, uh, we had some major technical difficulties with the Uncharted 4 playthrough, which we now shot well over a year ago. We shot it, like, last June. Um, pretty sure, honestly, it was pretty quick after we shot the Uncharted 3 playthrough. Um, part of why it's taken so long for the Uncharted 4 playthrough to come out is that it took me a long time to get the Uncharted 3 playthrough out. Uh, so obviously I wouldn't have been working on this beforehand. But to be frank, this playthrough massively discouraged me uh, about the entire playthrough creation process, because we lost a significant amount of footage from this. Um, and it's not like, oh, it was just some like level exploration and combat stuff, I'll reshoot it. It was like major story sequences. Um, a new capture device, had some technical difficulties, lost a bunch of footage. I do still have our commentary, and bizarrely, because of the way that this piece of crap works, I have the game audio from those bits that we lost, but not the game footage. What I'm going to attempt to do for those important bits is I'm going to attempt to reconstruct all of the gameplay using the game audio and our commentary to be like, okay, well, this is probably what I'm doing during this part. I'll just go ahead and replay the game and try to blindly find, act my way through recreating what we probably did when we shot it originally. Now many of you are probably thinking, that sounds like a massive headache. Uh, and it will be, and it was when we lost the stuff in the first place. So again, that's part of what's been discouraging me about 
uh, really digging into this and, and, and starting to work on it, though I am getting started on it now, uh, slowly. You can probably expect the first episode of Uncharted 4 in, like, February-ish. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about timing on that in a minute. Uh, there's some other stuff I'm gonna have to explain that's gonna factor into this, but in general, uh, just losing all that footage really discouraged me, and we haven't even, like, started shooting a new full playthrough uh, since we shot this in June of last year, which is kind of uncommon for us. Usually we've got something... Well, I guess, what am I talking about? We shot, we shot um, uh, Sonic Forces, but special circumstances on Sonic Forces. It's obviously mostly been shorter videos or streams. Um, I just don't enjoy streams as much, don't get me wrong. I like interacting with you guys. I like the flexibility of it. I, I like it, but it, it's just like, it's much more like taxing. I know that may sound bizarre, but like, I feel more tired after a four hour stream than I do after like an eight hour, uh, like standard recording session. I think it's because you, you can take more breaks with something like this. You aren't, you don't have to be on the entire time. I, I just find streams kind of draining. I don't typically have as much fun with them because I feel like I have a little bit less control over what's going on. Uh, again, not that I don't dislike streams. I really like doing these, but everything that happened with the Uncharted 4 playthrough just really broke my spirit on them a little bit. But like I said, we will be trying to get this out soon. Um, normally I would not be as transparent about upcoming plans and upcoming playthroughs as I'm going to be with you guys for the rest of this video. Um, I prefer to keep my cards close to my chest on some of this because so often I have plans that completely fall apart and they don't come through. I feel fairly confident that things are going to work out decently this time, at least with the way that I'm going to describe them to you. Um, and I'm gonna ask for your guys' understanding if things kind of fall through. I'll try to keep you apprised of what's going on just in case. But short version is, in addition to, I'm gonna try and get this playthrough actually started and to you guys pretty soon. And by the way, if you've been ignoring the Uncharted playthroughs so far, or like you tried them out and you're not too keen on them, Uncharted 4 is pretty different from the other ones. In terms of its like raw narrative content, it's far and above the best game in the series. But anyway, in addition to this, Obviously, Joey and I will be continuing on with the Breath of the Wild streams when we have time. I will be doing whatever other streams by myself that wind up getting voted on, maybe with occasional, maybe Joey or Aiden will join me occasionally for those, but probably mainly just gonna be me. Uh, I will say, Joey and I have discussed and are planning at some point taking a break from Breath of the Wild to stream Sonic Frontiers. Will it be a full playthrough? Will it be a one-off? Will it be one or two streams? We're not quite sure. That's gonna depend on what your guys' response is, how much fun we are having. We're not quite sure yet, but we're, we've discussed taking a break from Breath of the Wild to do a stream or a number of streams or Son of Sonic Frontiers or even alternating between the two of them. Not quite sure yet, but you will at least see one Sonic Frontiers. Did I say forces this whole time? I, God, these names are stupid. Frontiers, the new one, we're planning on at least streaming it once or twice. May turn into a full playthrough, depending on what you guys think and depending on how much fun Joey and I are having. But Breath of the Wild will continue. It may wind up alternating. There may be a bit of Breath of the Wild hiatus while we do Sonic Frontiers. Not quite sure yet. So those are the main things. Uh, continuing Breath of the Wild, some Sonic Frontiers in some quantity at some point, whatever game you guys wind up voting on on the Patreon for me to stream by myself, and Uncharted 4 at some point. Uh, I probably put it in the thumbnail. You guys all clicked on the video wanting to hear about this, so I may as well go ahead and talk about it. I have a confession to make. I started working on a playthrough of Final Fantasy VII Remake in January of 2021. Uh, there were a lot of circumstances surrounding why it didn't quite work out that don't matter right now, and maybe I'll tell you guys about it later, but I literally started working on this almost two years ago. Uh, it wound up stopping technical issues, among other things. Also, it wound up being, okay, it's time to shoot Uncharted 3 now. Okay, now it's time to shoot Uncharted 4. Oops, lost all this footage on Uncharted 4, and suddenly I had no motivation to spend time working on any of this crap uh, for a little while. Um, so this wound up being completely dead in the water for quite a bit of time as I tried to uh, reassess exactly how I was going to handle all of this. Um, I think it is finally time for this to actually happen in the near future. Like I said, I I'm almost afraid to like talk about this and announce it at all 
because I'm a little afraid it's going to fall apart again and not happen. Uh, but it would be like, at this point, it would just be like bad. Like there's not specific factors that I'm like, oh boy, it's not gonna work. It's like, I'm kind of afraid lightning bolts will come from above and, and strike the LP down type thing just because of our bad luck and how cursed the production process on this was when I tried to do it last time and the number of things that went wrong. But I am going to try, I'm going to do my best, aside from uh, outside influence and bad luck, to make this playthrough happen in the near future. The main thing that I need you all to know going into this, going into this and Uncharted 4, honestly, um, uh, this is a very long game. It's gonna take me a while to get episodes together, and same with Uncharted 4. In the past, when I've released Let's Plays, you guys know if you've been around for a while, what I tend to do is I tend to get a bit of a head start and try to stockpile at least the first kind of batch of episodes so that I have a little bit of a head start and I can hopefully maintain a consistent release schedule. So I can hopefully try and do at least a video a week is what I've been attempting to do. You know, when I've had new Let's Plays coming out, I've been trying to do an episode every week, right? Back in the day, I tried to do three a week. That was nuts. I don't know how I maintained it. I couldn't do that today if I tried. Uh, but regardless, I've tried to do one episode a week of full playthroughs when I've been releasing them. I'm doing that with Sonic Forces right now. I don't want to guarantee a schedule even vaguely resembling that, not even like alternating weeks for Uncharted 4 and Final Fantasy VII Remake. I'm not going to stockpile stuff on this. I mean, I may get one or two episodes prepared ahead of time before these release, but I'm not going to get a, a big reservoir of episodes like I've had in the past. These are going to come out when I get to them, when I am able to get around and edit it and get everything ready and, and boom, here it is. When, especially with this, we haven't even shot the first episode of this yet. Everything that I shot two years ago, gone, doesn't exist anymore. I mean, it exists, some of it somewhere. Again, the details don't matter. The point is we're going to start this from scratch. And at the time of me making this, we literally haven't even started shooting this yet. Um, episodes are gonna come out when I get them out which is gonna be all the more reason for you to subscribe and smash the bell. I, 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 guys, I'm not even doing this like ironically, like, oh ho ho, it's so hard for me to say these words. I don't understand how this crap works. I think if you hit the bell, that makes YouTube send you notifications, but it seems like even that doesn't work, so I don't know. The point is, it's not gonna be a consistent weekly release schedule necessarily. I will try when I can, to put out at least one thing a week, for example, if I can't get an episode of this out, then that's gonna be an excuse for me to try and stream. But it might be there are weeks where it's like the only time that I have where I could stream, I need to be putting into making main channel videos, because that's kind of the most important YouTube objective right now. That's where the overall growth potential is. So there might be weeks where Research Runs is kind of dead. Uh, you guys are hopefully just gonna have to kind of get used to that and be ready for a somewhat sporadic release schedule like I said, maybe hitting the bell and subscribing will do something. You might just have to get used to checking back in every now and then because it might not be totally consistent. The other thing you need to know about the Final Fantasy VII Remake playthrough is it's gonna be a slightly different format. All of the actual game footage is gonna be pre-taped. I'm gonna, instead of us sitting down and playing the game and recording the game and our audio at the same time, I'm gonna play the game ahead of time, tape it, and then I'm gonna put the video file on and we're gonna commentate over it. So it's gonna be a little bit different from what we've normally done in the past for our playthroughs. Um, this has a number of advantages. One of them being, uh, if I lose game footage again, if I have a recording fails or whatever, um, I don't also like, oops, all that commentary we just recorded is useless because I don't have footage to pair it with. I can just go back and reshoot that part of the game. You know, so that that is a massive headache, sort of Damocles, whatever, gone that makes this way less stressful for me, even though it does add a lot of production time because basically I've got to film the game, then I have to film us watching the game. So it doubles the amount of time that goes into the recording process. It massively reduces the amount of stress for me. It does decrease the amount of flexibility we have during these because if Aiden or Joey or whoever says, oh, go back and look at that, I can't. We already shot it, the tape's already there, which means I'm kind of having to anticipate where we're gonna have discussions, where we're gonna have, you know, I'm trying to anticipate commentary timing ahead of time, which obviously is going to be difficult. It's going to change the rhythm of the videos a lot. But what it also means is it's going to let us go a lot more in depth with this than we have with some of our playthroughs in the past. I'm going to be doing stuff in the middle of episodes where I'm like, okay, 
Now let's cut to the, some footage of the original game and see what this part looked like there. Let's stop and talk about this. Like I'm going to be able to ahead of time edit in segments for discussion. Edit in, here's the alternative version of this sequence. Here's the alternative dialogue that happens during this part. And I'm pretty excited about that. I think that's going to be pretty neat. I think that's going to open up a lot of interesting opportunities with this playthrough. We're going to be able to go very in-depth uh, with a lot of the stuff that's going on in this game. I'm very excited about that. Again, assuming that it happens and the whole thing is not struck down by an act of God. But uh, I believe that's it. That's all I've got to talk about for the day. That's why that's why these, uh, these update videos, we only do them once in a blue moon, because I just talk and talk and talk and talk and I dump all this information and then I don't need to do another one for a little while. Uh, this is a little bit different. Normally I don't announce these things like this. I don't announce them ahead of time when I'm not sitting on 20 episodes already shot and ready to go. Uh, I will be punished for my hubris and something is going to happen. My, my, uh, my disc of the game will be cleft in twain. My PS4 will stop working. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Ugh. But anyway, big content push on the main channel uh, that I, I ask you again to please do your best to try and support if you enjoy our stuff. Not holding anything hostage here. The channel will still continue to exist no matter what. I'm just asking you guys for your help on this. I mean, obviously, uh, same thing goes here on research runs of, of please like and, and leave a comment and whatnot. But if you're not interested in the playthrough, you know, don't worry about it too much. Honestly, I, th I think it might be, I don't know this for sure because I don't work at YouTube, but it almost seems like someone clicking on the video and then bailing out is probably worse because it goes, oh, people clicked on this and then immediately ducked out. People don't want to watch it. So if you're not interested in the playthrough, don't feel obligated to like, oh, I'll dip in and hit like and leave. Don't, don't worry about it. Just watch the stuff that you guys want to watch and that you're interested in. Now we're going to have Uncharted 4 and Final Fantasy VII Remake, hopefully releasing semi-concurrently, even though Uncharted 4 is a, a shorter game, so it'll probably be done first. Uh, and streams going on, so we'll have a decent amount of interesting stuff, hopefully. Uh, consider giving something that maybe you're not typically interested in a chance. You might surprise yourself. We try to, especially these days, trying to play good stuff, except for when we're playing Sonic Forces. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm pretty optimistic about the stuff we're gonna be putting out in the near future on here. But uh, anyway. Also, the Patreon stuff, just updated you all on that. I'm doing, this is called the wrap-up. I'm bad at concluding videos. We've, we've observed this many times in the past. You know what? I don't really need to do a wrap-up, I don't think. You guys watched the whole thing. Hopefully you retained the information. Uncharted 4 and Final Fantasy VII Remake, hopefully starting February, March timing. Uh, this isn't even me just, like, getting time to hoard episodes, like I said. This is getting time to even get started shooting this have time to edit them with a bunch of other stuff that I have scheduled for YouTube and also just in my regular life. I'm trying to set expectations here. Maybe it'll be a little bit sooner. I'm not sure. Also, again, swing by the Patreon. The poll should be up in the near future. If you if you care about any of the four games that I listed, you're like, I want to vote on getting Jacob to play that. Consider going by and supporting. There will also be some uh, Kingdom Hearts review notes, some other stuff for you to look at. Uh, I'm done with the recap. I'm bad at ending videos. I'm just gonna sign off now. Uh, more Sonic Forces later this week. Um, it's pretty much just gonna be, uh, there's two more episodes of Sonic Forces. That's gonna be the content here on Research Runs for the next two weeks, I think, unless there's a, unless there's a surprise stream somewhere mixed in there. Uh, Joshua was like, hey, Jacob, you should do this. And I was like, uh, maybe. We'll see what happens there. Anyway, I'm gonna go now. Gotta end the video. Eventually, I'll stop talking. Eventually, I'll learn to stop talking and end the video. Any second now. Goodbye.